All right. Hi, I'm Aaron Heiser, Makers Love the Supply, and I'm uh, going to do a quick video here. just wanted to show off our new uh, fringe template that we're making. I actually designed this thing some months ago, but I really didn't know enough about our uh, machine to make it as clean and nice as I am here now. But uh, anyway, I'll show you this and show you how it works, and uh, hopefully it can help you do better at what you do, if that's what if that's what you, something you need help with. Um, so fringe template will be available in quarter inch and three eighths of an inch. Um, as far as the width of the, the fringe, it is, uh, the entire thing is 10 inches long, eight inches wide. The cutting area of it is roughly or just right at eight inches long and, um, seven and, and uh, three quarters. No, that's not right. Uh, and yeah, seven and three quarters inches wide. So it's nine inches wide, not eight. I'm sorry. So, um, and still 10 inches long. All right. So anyway, um, what I have here, uh, this is some veg tan or correction. This is uh, oil tan. It's about four ounces or so. It's some pretty, pretty thick stuff. And, uh, then I have a standard issue. Um, some folks called an Ulfa knife. I believe that was a brand name at one point or still is. Uh, but anyway, a rotary cutter and, um, all you're going to do is you'll take your uh, your template and put it on your leather wherever you want it. I'm just going to line this leather up right with the top of the template there. And uh, then I'll get to cutting. I'm going to stand up so I can stand directly over it here. And um, you just put that awful blade right down there and give it a pull. And um, it, uh, it works really well. It keeps them straight, keeps them... Um, consistent and uh, it works works out so cut a few of these here and then I'll pick it up and show you what we've done the hardest part I've found with this is just keeping your place of where you were um, when you pull the blade out you kind of got to look at it and be like well, which hole was that so I try to keep my fingers close to the last line that I cut and hope that, hope that that can help Um, normally, you know, the, the hard way of doing fringe is to, uh, take and, um, take a ruler and, and try to measure all this stuff out, but this thing makes it a lot easier than that. So pretty easy to follow. And like any of the rulers or anything else that we make, I, uh, I try to keep leather workers in mind. Um, you know, what are your needs as a leather worker and how, how can this thing best serve you? So... All right, so there's what we did, and there's our fringe now. Uh, it works on lighter weight leathers as well, um, works really well on them, uh, just as well as it did on this, this uh, four ounce oil tan here. Um, the cuts are so nice and straight and fine that you can almost put it back together and not even tell that they're there. But uh, anyway, it's, um, I think they're gonna work really well for some folks. Anyway, um, that's it for the day. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope this can help you.